everybody, my name is Hassan Lumbia. Today I'm going to talk about people of determination in uh, UAE and in Africa, I'll say people with disability. Um, before proceeding further, people with disability sometimes they face a lot of challenge, you know. So I'm going to explain various points point and type of people with uh, disability. And for the first one, is talking about physical disability. People with physical disability, before you want to render help to them, you have to be polite to them. You have to speak to them in that calm way. Um, please, may I help you? Then also, do not shout at them, people with disability. You have to communicate with them in a very calm and respectful way to treat them like a human, you understand? And also, you don't have to become, you, have, you don't have to be in physical contact with them. You have to seek for their permission first, then you help them. Then also, you have to stand firm, like uh, you have to stand firm when you are helping them. So at least there won't be any form of accident. Yeah. Also, another point you're talking about people who are blind, right? People with uh, visual and impairment. Yeah, also, when you are helping them, you have to be polite to them. You speak to them in a calm way. Then, if it's a woman, also you can find a fellow. If it's a woman, also you can find a fellow woman also to help her in 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 certain situation, right? Like for in toilet or other places, you know, you can consult another lady. It treats them. In, in, um, um, in, in different way, they don't like sometimes you treat them as if they are more special, just they will just want you to treat them as a normal human being. Yeah, then also communicate to them in a very polite way. Yeah, let them know that if sometimes there is certain situation, like in terms of where it's hazardous or a dangerous road where they cannot able to pass because of their 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 wheelchair or other thing you have to explain to them in a very polite way then also people who are deaf uh, or have hearing impairment right before you help they have to seek their consent and ask them be polite to them may i help you then also do not shout at them then uh, any words if you know that they, they are deaf you can write the words so that they can understand they can understand you can use pen or paper you write then they can understand they also don't stand in front uh, also um, you can stand in front of them so they can see your action and they will understand that people are deaf they can understand that this is what you are talking about right then you have to speak to them in short a a calm way with sweet lips you understand yeah then also you're talking about hidden disability there are so many people who are with hidden disability mental illness you know so also you have we have to be careful how we speak to people right look for people who are behaving differently they may be extra sensitive to sound you see some people they can when you speak loud to them they just get angry you understand when you speak to them loud even if you are saying the right thing so you always have to be calm when you are speaking to someone then ask them hey can i help you or okay can you be patient and be kind then use simple language then if, if they need a medical assistance you can ask please if necessary can i help you can i call the the, the, the ambulance can i call the, the medical practitioner can i help you this is the way yeah that is for people who are in disability and also people with wheelchair if you want to help them uh, people with without a wheelchair you want to help them you have to make sure that they have to know tell them you have to know we are uh, accessible or work or where there is a ram that uh, that can provide immediate assistance to those area right if it lies a lift you have to show the person the lift way right if no other alternative is uh, allowed take them to the safest place right like uh, people that are using wheelchair you have to assist them you push them with their wheelchair assuming they cannot Assuming they cannot leave their chair unless they, they say otherwise, assist them to the designated way that the ram 
direct them with the wood and help them right uh, take them to a safe place then people who are blind also or visually impairment you have to introduce yourself to them uh hi ma hi sir uh my name is this can i please help you assist you you introduce yourself then you have to help them because we all need each other we have to help each other so people with disability they are not different from us right we have to show them that love and sympathy then uh the place they are going right you place your hand on their shoulder do not try to grab or hold their hand right you just have to hold them in a polite way by assisting them you understand then uh you take them to the safe place then you communicate with them throughout and let them know what is happening around them hey massa this way this way this thing is coming like that then people who are deaf also right uh we have to look out for them for some who is not responsible to emergency alarm or instruction then tap on the arm and uh if they have their back on you then wave then wave if if you are facing them right you have to wave and show them a sign that uh, something is going on then you have to guide them right you have to guide them in a safe direction then you have to speak with them in a calm and a polite way that people who are deaf then remember a deaf person will not hear any announcements any uh, announcement alarm or instruction right like a uh, vehicle blowing on you will not hear you have to help them show them uh give them assistance they have another hidden disability you understand then you have to look out for people who are physically or emotionally stressed be a patient and be kind right because now most time people facing disability with uh, most of uh, um, stress so that is another um, disability and uh, to conceptualize all this topic is trying to talk about how we can help people with disability in society how you can be polite to them and you seek for their permission to help them yeah but don't treat them that extremely special you just have to you just have to make sure that they are also normal people and they deserve the right that other people have you understand because sometimes you treat them that extremely uh you treat them that extremely kind way they will feel as if they are they will feel as if they are in a very bad or a critical situation, you know. So for them not to feel that shy, you have to speak to them, you have to be polite to them in a very calm and natural way. So these are the way we should treat people with disability all over the world. At least they also are human and they have a right to be treated, not in the most special way, but we have to treat them with respect and we are they need assistance we have to seek their consent and help them in one way or the other then as for now i stop my message here i'll keep on giving updates on the training and records on how we can treat people with disability because this is most important in uae you know because there's special training for people with disability there's a training uh how people will train people how people should treat people with disability in UAE. so i feel like sharing share share this information uh um, to fellow people in uae and uh in africa or in europe and to share my idea so i stop here for now see you in the next video and subscribe to my youtube channel